everyone and welcome to today's video. In today's video, I'm going to tell you how to do your guild weekly tasks. To start off, you need to be in a guild and you will need to be level 50 with the North Vern completed. So please note that from level 1 to level 49, you cannot do any weekly tasks. The only thing you could do is donate to the guild. Now once you have those requirements met, the guild leader, or if you are the guild leader, will go underneath the weekly task menu which is found in the guild menu, weekly task, and then assign a weekly task. Once you have that menu, you'll see that there's a bunch of options for you to accept. For level one guilds, you can only have one task at a time. As you level up, you will have more. You wanna pick a task that best suits what your guild focus is. For example, my guild is more focused on trading, which is the life skill part of the game. So that's mining, fishing, excavation, hunting, etc. So for my guild, I accepted the try mining task. Now, as you can see, there'll be a difficulty meter where it has these different materials collected. At least for life skills, this does not matter. The reason why I say this is these items don't actually exist. You're just going to go around and mine the nodes, and that's how you get the materials. For example, when it says sad statues for excavation, you're just going around and excavating. When you're mining, you're just going around and getting the notes. When you're fishing, just go to a fishing spot, get the fishes. That is all you have to do for those weekly tasks. Once you complete them, you will click on the ongoing taskbar and complete the quest. And then you can actually accept them again. So how do you accept your weekly task? Underneath the unit task menu, which is your unit dailies, you'll see the guild request. Go underneath that bar and then you'll see your guild requests that they have and you want to accept them. Please note that in order for you to contribute to your guild's weekly task, you must have those accepted. If they are not accepted, they will not count towards the guild progression. Now these quests are repeatable and you can do them over and over again over the course of the week. So say you're in a small guild with like one to five members and there's not many of them that are able to do the weekly task. You can actually do the entire task for your guild. You do not need the entire guild to do so, though it is highly encouraged that they do at least try. And now that you have your weekly task bar filled up to 20 out of 20, you just have to wait for the weekly reset on Thursday for you to receive your rewards. They will come in the mailbox. Thank you for watching this video. I do hope this was helpful and answered a lot of people's questions about the weekly tasks. If you've already done your weekly tasks, which one has been your favorite so far? And if you did join the video, please throw a like on it as it really does help out. Thank you. Have a good day.